Hey guys, how you guys doing? How are you guys keeping this my last video? Um, I had a, a thought. What is your favorite place to ride? I mean, everybody has a favorite place. Um, it's got sentimental um, value behind it or meaning behind it or, you know, you just feel at home when you're there. Now mine, obviously you guys know, I, uh, mine is Dukai. And um, I've been riding here since, oh God, I can't remember. Uh, this was five rand and um the parking lot was chock and block over here now nobody can park and also um i have a bit of a history um in Tukai. Uh, my dad when um that um over there was a museum of some sort and my dad was hired to renovate it so we used to come here as kids my brother and myself and um play up there and then play down there um, in the forest uh, pick up stones so forth and so forth sticks and play and you know while my dad was here working so it had a bit of a sentimental value to Kai that's when there's a lot of trees here that was to Kai forest not to Kai trails and uh, mountain biking was a thing back then but now it is obviously and um, everybody knows back in the day where all the trees are up to level five and silver mine gate the quality of the trail was phenomenal so smooth all the idiots came down the mountain over here that down the root section which is now my roots or now roots and so forth and fairy garden was there up there as well so i remember that very fondly and just down the road over here used to be like a little store we used to buy crunchy biscuits we call it bosobo cookies in afrikaans um because every single time when my dad came over there to build uh, you know to the museum he went and got us some crunchies and it was boss bow cookies <laughs> the irony of it um but yeah this is like so everybody has a like a favorite place to come to and mine is obviously tukai like a lot of people um the serenity of tukai uh the trees um the gravel under your tires the smell of tukai obviously now a lack of trees or the heat and the wind but it's still tukai um and you guys see my videos all the time riding coming down the same trails all the time it's because every ride is different i feel different i ride to different people or same people different moods so it's anything can happen during the ride so i have to apologize if it's always the same trails um or sometimes we give an update on the trail so yeah um tukai yeah that's my favorite place so what's your favorite place to ride now obviously you guys remember bad fire that ravaged Tukai and Tukai was closed for so long the mountain was closed and um, it ravaged this place it destroyed it completely um, yeah and nobody could ride it was blocked off nobody knew where they could go so it hurt a lot of people actually um my, me for so, uh, me for one just very disappointed very upset that the kai was damaged our place our home um and made it worse is sand parks and everybody played politics with the kai which was annoying and i can't well i can't really point fingers because i'm not in position to to point fingers but we all knew we all complained and they had to get rid of the dead trees a long time ago but Tukai then subsequently opened and everybody was happy but things weren't the same oh that's beautiful um so since then you know um Tukai MTV came around and started something good. They were in co communication with Sand Parks and everybody else to get Tukai mainline again and on the map for mountain biking, which it used to be. Um, yeah, and they started building all the trails that you see today. A guy called Dion and Mark. I don't know the rest of the guys, I apologize. And these are these are these guys are the unsung heroes of Tukai. Because they built the trails. They got the sponsors involved. They they twisted 
um, sandpox's rubber arm to give us to give us these trails, and um, obviously we are eternally grateful for this. Uh, and obviously you have to. I know I haven't. I'm actually ashamed. I hang my head, my head in shame. Become a member of the Kime to be and support the trails. I think it's still 400 bucks. And um, and then without that donations, we can't build all these wonderful trails and get more and more sponsors involved. So yes, Tukai is a very special place in my heart, as always will be. I know there are other trails in Tallenbach side. I haven't really ridden them other than races. But I live at the foot of this mountain, so why not ride this mountain? Whew, I'm climbing. So yes, I think yeah, it's my Zen place. Go here to be get. Go here to go. Well, I come here to get happy, or become happy, rest, rejuvenate, rest my mind. All right. So you guys all remember what happened to that little slash museum that my dad worked on. It was um, it turned into a coffee shop, which was quite popular, and a lot of fond memories of that too. Because we used to kill ourselves in the mountain, chase each other down all over the place, and then race towards the coffee shop and have a coffee, get a croissant, get something to eat, get some pot course on the way for the, on the way home. Because I used to stay in Plumstead at the time, and used to race um, to the coffee shop. And then buy coffee and have a big chat, laugh about what happened during the trail. It was a nice, you know, end of ride get together. Um, but that changed. And now it's not a coffee shop anymore. Nobody knows what's going to happen with it. But it would be nice if it was a coffee shop, because then people can actually stop, have a drink, have something to eat afterwards before they, you know, bugger off home. But yeah, that that little museum started a coffee shop. Coffee shop they brought friends together, created a lot of memories. Just putting me off. Right. Whoa. Took about a lively back end. Yes!